our pal Andrew. So we do an interview. Hey guys, welcome to the Voyager Project. This is video number five, where we uh, start the framing for the floor as well as start putting in insulation for the floor, and you get a sneak peek at the finished design for Voyager One. Stay tuned for more. That's pretty good. How do you think it was, Andrew? Oh. Next for your input. <laughs> So today is the day that we finally get our sub four in. So what are you doing, Ryan? I'm uh, putting in the two by two furring strips. Um, so we are both using constructed construction adhesive and also uh, screws, sub tapping screws. Drilling and then we're using these. Yeah. Probably could have gotten non self tapping, but yeah, it is what it is. Cool. And then that with the glue locks it down. So, what we're doing is lining up uh, our pre sunk or countersunk holes for the bolts that are already existing. In existing. But so yeah, framing's almost done. Now we're starting to begin putting in insulation. So this is inch and a half thick, uh, and just measuring it, cutting it to fit. Uh, we have this turkey uh, turkey cutter that we're using to tr trim the live edge because, as we find hand cutting it, doesn't always work perfectly. So you have to come in and trim up some of the more rough edges. And then after you do that, it takes to fit like this one. I'm using Proline 300 foam board to adhere the foam board to the floor. Just laying it down in kind of a snake pattern. And then after that, yeah, I have to showcase some muscles. Okay, there we go. Kind of came in for the fun part, didn't you? Oh, Ryan looks so good. Yeah. That's usually what Ryan does. Ryan kind of just like sits back and watches Andrew and I work, and then just as it starts to get fun, he like jumps in and does it and steps on it. So, what you see here is the heater that came with the bus. Uh, normally, with these buses, the heater sits back here under the seat, and if you were uh, one of the smart kids like me, when it got cold outside, you always sat in the back seat. Also, that's just where the cool kids sit. So. The heater that comes with the bus uh, has these really thick tubes, and we wanted the heater to stay in the bus so that when we were driving and it was cold, it could heat uh, this back space, which will be further away from our fireplace. Uh, so we ended up designing 
a gap in our floor plates where the, the foam's gonna go in these two pockets all the way down and it left this center crevice for the uh, the tubes to fit in and that way when we put the plywood and then our finished flooring over the top it sits flush and it doesn't affect our uh, our insulation at all. Also, we're gonna have heated floors now. So we're excited. This is that living room space. What you can do is have that like consistent thickness all the way across. So you can either have like top mounted storage for the Yeah, but I think it works better this way. So it's the same way I did it. You just drew it down. Like this is just down. Living versus utility. Yeah. And then private versus living. Uh, like public. Yeah. So this, is that. so this is the driver's seat. Then we have our entrance, we have the swinging door. Mm -hmm. We also have this front couch space, which is to this line in between these fingers. This is our front desk space with a fold out uh, desk that is flush inside the wall and you'd like swing it out. And then here is our like hearth, earth, hearth fireplace with a fireplace. We'd probably be cooking on that. It's coming out to double. It's like a double folded Murphy bed that'll come out to like here, and then this wall will house the rest of it that comes out to about there. We okay. also have this front couch space, which is to this line in between these fingers. And this is the kitchen. This is the bathroom. This is the bed, and it folds out this way. Couch space. This is uh, how wide is this? Four feet, foot eight inches. So it's four feet by, uh, by seven and a half feet. So that would be a decent workout space for using like dumbbells and elastic bands. So Ryan's measuring out the lines so that he can tape out our imaginary bed and see if the size that we want is comfortable. How's that bed feel, Ryan? <laughs> Having a tough back is uh, good for posture. Yeah. Nice and firm. Nice and firm. So this dash line is for uh, the overhead 
compartments. It's gonna be a probably about this high. Like a dresser. It comes down and then goes back. <laughs> there we have a little toe box, um, but also extra room for the bed. And then also not compromising cabinet space above. Do you think you can fit another person next to you? Come on over. I, I think it's plenty of space, honestly. For two. <laughs> this is longer than a queen bed. Yeah, it's pretty long. It's seven feet by four feet. So, we taped out the sides of our bathroom. Um, Brian is now sitting on our composting toilet. And this is also our shower room. So Ryan, stand up for the people. And <laughs> your face will be pretty much in the wall, but we're gonna have a, an extendable hose for the shower head, so. It's gonna be a lot, so like, it'll come back here. Yeah, like width-wise you're fine. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe. If you have any suggestions or anything we can do better, leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you. And feel free to follow us on Instagram at The Voyager Project. And, uh. Got anything to say, Andrew? Perfect. See you around next time. <laughs>